Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today we are going to be going over all the latest and greatest Doctor Who filming news in Newport in particular. There seems to be two separate pieces of filming going on relatively concurrently or across these last few days, one of which being the sort of Newport filming we've already seen and also the Swansea filming as well. And the other seems to be in Newport Market, which is happening today, which was rumoured to be doubling up as Las Vegas, although we don't seem to know. Although there have been signs spotted around Newport indicating that it is doubling up as London, a pretty common practice for Doctor Who. So whether these are two separate stories that are being filmed concurrently in similar locations remains to be seen. But before we get into all of that, do me a favour, click the subscribe button. We're less than 30 subscribers away from 18,900 and we want to get to 20,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. So if you are new around here and you like the content, please do subscribe. It would really, really help me out. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram. The links are in the description below if you'd like to follow those. But with that said, let's get into the video. So there were a couple more images of the slug, but I'm not really going to make a big deal out of that because it's the slug. We've all seen the slug. However, what I will talk about are these, the Newport sort of shop fronts that have been changed. There's this one where a subway has been transformed into an, another local business called Rap Express. I'm assuming this is more to do with like either, you know, sort of um, advertising and BBC's rules when it comes to advertising and stuff like that, rather than anything that important when it comes to the stories themselves. Unless, you know, there's going to be like a rap guy who's the new companion. I think this is more to just to do with it's being changed over for, you know, advertising and BBC rules and stuff like that. Another one that's been changed is St. David's Hospice has been changed into the gift box. No idea what that means. Something to do with cards and sort of decorative things. Maybe this is just, again, just to look nice or to make it look a bit more fantastical. But yeah, I've no idea what relevance this serves, but it's interesting nonetheless. This one is interesting. Another shop front has been transformed into an estate agent called Archer and Lewis. And what's interesting about this is that Archer and Lewis is in fact an estate agent that's been seen in the Doctor Who universe before, particularly Sarah Jane Adventures. It's the estate agent used for when Maria moves into her house in Bannerman Road in the very first episode of Sarah Jane Adventures, which is Invasion of the Bane. So that's really cool to see. And it's not the only Sarah Jane Adventures reference we've seen on the set of Doctor Who of recent, because another shop front seems to have been redecorated as a sort of flower shop, and it's been called Blooming Fresh, which bears a striking resemblance to Gita from Sarah Jane Adventures' business, as in the mother of Rani Chandra, Blooming Lovely. So is this a reference to Gita? Is this going to be a reference to her? It just does seem weird that two Sarah Jane like, referenced or related businesses have been referenced in the same set of filming. I find that particularly interesting. Hopefully this has some correlation. I'd love to see the Sarah Jane Adventures gang come back at some point. Obviously I know that they did Redacted as well as they did uh, Farewell Sarah Jane. So I'd love to see these guys pop back up again. But yeah, I just find these references really cool. And it's just kind of more evidence that we're back in that like RTD era universe of world building, which is really cool. Here's another shot of a shop that's been transformed into a jeweler's in London. So yeah, as you can see, Newport seems to be doubling up for London in some of these scenes, which again makes sense because they do that all the time. You can also see some of the close-up shots here from someone's Instagram. Look, Blooming Fresh, We Buy Gold, Blooming Fresh again, uh, Rap Express and the gift box, and then to Downing Street, 145 miles. So yeah, it's definitely trying to double up as London or a London adjacent area, I suppose, which is very interesting. It's also been confirmed that gunshots are being used in Newport. So um, one of the business owners of a pub in Newport said, if you're heading to the pub today, please don't be worried if you hear some gunshots. They're filming Doctor Who. You never know, you might catch someone famous. So there you go. It seems like a bunch of action is going to be taking place during these scenes. No idea what that could entail, but that's interesting nonetheless. Here you can see a couple more shots of the outside of the shop window businesses, so that's quite interesting. So then you can see that Newport Market has been closed off and security is very tight for their filming because they're actually filming inside Newport Market. Now we did hear rumours that Newport Market was going to be doubling up as Las Vegas, so maybe that is what this is for. Obviously it's very hard to see 
any of what's going on inside here, but it definitely seems like they were filming inside here. Now, apparently, filming was meant to take place up until 1pm today, so as I'm recording this, more stuff is coming out, so obviously, you know, you might not see this for a little while, because I was kind of debating, do I wait until 1pm to film this video, or do I start filming it now? I decided to start filming it now. Yeah, it seems as though they got a lot of the stuff inside Newport Market relatively early. You can see here more examples of Newport being closed off, for filming apparent shots of Doctor Who extras being taken out by a minibus. So again, it seems as though they started filming even earlier than was anticipated to get ahead of things, pretty much. And then we have this, which people are alleging is a sighting of Jera Redgrave's Kate Stewart, which it could be, because right now it is just a blonde woman. However, it very well could be Kate Stewart. I'm not sure. There's also been apparent sightings of Millie Gibson around here which i can't quite see but yeah that's also pretty interesting as well so yes i can now confirm that not only has millie gibson been spotted on set as you can see here but also that that is definitely Gemma redgrave talking with millie gibson's ruby sunday so we are going to get to see kate meet 11 12 13 possibly 14 if if she appears in the 60th which i feel like if unit are there she probably will and 15 as well which is kind of ridiculous but yeah i mean i have expressed a certain level of wanting like a new unit person but if Jeff redgrave wants to come back and they do something interesting with it i'm down for that russell's writing as well it'd be really interesting to see russell written kate stewart like russell writing kate stewart i think that'd be really interesting yeah Bit wild, I wasn't expecting to see that today, but yeah, that's really cool. I've just seen a more closer up image of Kate, so yeah, it's definitely Kate Stewart 100%. You can tell it's Gemma Redgrave. Yeah, this is pretty wild. I don't know what else to say other than wow, this is a thing that's happening, and yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how she factors in. We've seen quite a lot of unit in this new era, we've seen them in the 60th filming and this, and obviously the centenary in the last era. So I'm wondering, you know, maybe are they going a bit more Earth based with Series 14, possibly? Which I would be honest, I'm not the hugest fan of, but it is too early to tell, admittedly. We have no idea. I'm just guessing at this point, but it's cool to see Kate back nonetheless. Yeah, very interesting to see. Very cool stuff. But that's not all. Some filming from last week has been shown, some exclusive, apparently, filming of the slug from the Swansea filming appearing to absorb certain individuals into its belly. That's the only way I could describe this, because how else do you describe this? <laughs> She's, there's like two women, and they seem remarkably unfazed by it, and then there's another woman who's also near them, and in a similar sort of, you know, sort of outfit, being absorbed by this weird creature. And then you can see a close-up of that very same thing here. And you can also see this man, who looks absolutely horrified, on the floor, as the slug slugs or slip slugs slides away um i have and then you can even see the hub find time uh, signs that we've come to sort of know from filming before and then you can see another guy getting absorbed by this slug as well so yeah also i don't know whether anyone else is noticing this but the costuming looks very kind of bright and very colorful which initially i thought was maybe like an 80s inspired thing however Albion is set to be 2046, so maybe they're sort of taking a, a handout of the Back to the Future Part 2 book and making all of the future clothes really, like, sort of bright and eccentric and stuff like that. That's just my guess, because you can sort of see the multiple colours, which just does remind me of the fashion in those kind of movies, but I could be wrong. But yeah, this is really interesting as well. I keep having to record new bits to this video <laughs> because more things keep happening. We can also see a shot of Gemma Redgrave and Millie Gibson talking once again. And we also get a look at one of Millie Gibson's first costume variants. It looks somewhat similar to what we've seen her in before, that sort of um, woolly top part of the coat. But you can sort of see the patterning is different and the red seems more accentuated on this version of the outfit, which I find interesting. Yeah, this is our first proper costume variant for Millie Gibson, so that's pretty interesting as well. Yes, it's also been officially confirmed that Gemma Redgrave is returning as part of UNIT. The long-running organisation sat on Defending the Earth returns in the next series of Doctor Who. And Hiram Bernardo has also been confirmed as the mysterious Roger A. P. William. This has been officially confirmed by BBC Doctor Who. That's awesome. It's awesome to have things officially confirmed. That's mental. It's mental because I know that obviously we've seen them filming, but it's very rare that they confirm filming leaks. 
but they've just done it. They've just put out a tweet, which is really cool to see. Yeah, it's officially confirmed now. Oh my god, what's going on? Russell, you mad man. You mad man, Russell, I love you. I also briefly wanted to cover this, which is the latest rumour from The Sun, which sort of suggests that there's been a new merchandising right that's going to lead to Doctor Who Lou Roll. I apologise for it being on The Sun, but we'll read it anyway. Our favourite Time Lord often lands in places we could never imagine ending up. Now that's even more true as Doctor Who is about to materialise on Lou Roll. BBC bosses of the sci-fi series have given permission for the logo to go on a string of products, and it is probably an attempt to claw back some of the extra millions that are now being spent on the show. After David Tennant features in the three specials later this year to mark its 60th anniversary, he will he will hand the keys over to the Doctor Shiti Gatwa. After that, Disney Plus is joining forces with the Beeb, which will be pumping vast amounts of cash into turbocharging the series for an international audience. Hopefully the Doctor Who Lee role will help wipe some of the debt away. So yeah, this is a bit of a weird report. So here's my thoughts on this. Do I think that there is going to be more merchandise in this Russell D. Davis 2 era? 100% I do. I think that's already been implied just by the sheer amount of stuff we've been getting in Doctor Who magazine, the new figures already coming out. I think we're, it's, it's inevitable we're going to get more merch. The Forbidden Planet stuff, it's inevitable. Do I think Lou Roll will be one of those products? Possibly. It could be. Stranger things have happened. You know, Doctor Who used to be on Froobs and, like, sort of shaped pasta and cereal. So, like, you know, it's not that out of the ordinary for them to go on products like this. And particularly in Russell T. Davis's eras as well. But do I think that the likely possibility of Merle merchandise gives this report any credibility beyond guesswork from the Sun? No, not really. I feel like anyone could guess that there's going to be more merch coming out as a result of, you know, the new era. So yeah. But if Doctor Who Lou Roll does indeed happen, I will review it on the channel. And that's a guarantee. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on anything that we discussed today. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe if you do, and I'll see you later.